uh, why are the police at my house? Okay. Are you here? I don't know. Yeah, the question does not matter if I am here or not. I am asking you, sir, why are you at my house or where Great. are you located? And I will call the headquarters that you're located at. Okay, guys, so it's very important when the police come to your house that you film law enforcement in the United States. Always film the police. I repeat, always film the police. Because it is your first amendment rights to film law enforcement in the United States. Always film the police. So this is a family matter. It's a family matter. And I guess the father is trying to bring the stepfather to come out. So that way he can see his kid. Now, there's a court order in place for visitation time. And I guess the actual father didn't have the visitation time. I don't know. It's a family matter. At the end of the day, man. You know, you gotta you gotta do things by the court. The court wants you to do things a certain way, you gotta do it. It's just the way it is, it's unfortunate, but you gotta do it. So the stepfather owns these cops, okay? This guy is very good at what he does. He he's very good, he he takes he doesn't move an inch. But the cops keep stepping back because they realize this man knows his rights. This is why it's always important to film law enforcement in the United States. I will put all the original links in the description. Um Again, it is your right to film law enforcement in the United States. Uh, check out my link tree. I'll put the link to that in the description. And also, man, um, yeah, I'm, I'm focusing on my Facebook. And I'm, when I get my channel remonetized on the Omaha Cop Watch Live, I'm going to make that my main channel. And we're going to focus on that. Because that's doing a lot better, even though I haven't uploaded no videos, than my main channel, unfortunately. So I'll be working on that. I'm out, guys. Peace. For some reason, at the Pontiac Sheriff Station, they don't like to give the timestamps. Uh -huh. But at the other police station, they would give them all. Okay. So. Hello? Hi, is uh, Lisa here? And Lisa is not here. Um, is my daughter Hannah here? No one is here. What, uh, why are you here? Can I speak to the police officer and have you step back? Pick up my daughter. I asked you to step back and I'd like the police officer to come forward. If you cannot do that, I will call the police myself. Stand your ground against law enforcement. They are not your friend. Always film the police. Or use the ring doorbell and don't even have to open the door. We're here. Where, where, is the, where are the police officers from? I'll call their office and see why there's police at my house. What's that? Why are there at my house? Why are we at your house? Is that, are you hard to hear? Hello? Hello? Uh, my connection's just not good. Why are you at my house? Uh, help uh, find out if this gentleman can pick up his kid for parenting time. Hello? What? My connection's bad. I'm just having issues with this. So again, okay. I, if I cut out again, believe me, I'm not trying to. It's just a connection of the phone. Uh, why are the police at my house? Okay, here. Are you here? I don't know. 
the, yeah, the question does not matter if I am here or not. I am asking you, sir, why are you at my house? Okay, so like I said, never talk to the police. I know that's hard for some people because that costume brings, you know, a lot of authority or authority presence. But at the end of the day, man, if you're going to talk, stand your ground and film law enforcement. That's what's important. So always film the police. Get back to the video and enjoy it. I hope you're enjoying the video. Or where are you located? And I will call the headquarters that you're located at. Again, why are the police at my house? We're here as a, as a peace officer for this individual trying to pick up his child for parenting time. Okay, have you read the parenting time agreement? Because the uh, gentleman that's there did not actually come, and we have evidence that we were there dropping off the child and he wasn't there. I would like both of your badge names, and, and your, actually I should say your names, add your badge numbers, and I would like to, speak, to know who your, I guess, the captain would be or whoever your supervisor is. You are breaking up again? It's very weird when he asks for your name and badge number, all of a sudden, he can't hear what the guy's saying, but we heard that perfectly. And the fact is, these cops don't want to identify themselves when they don't have to, because then you can't file a complaint or keep what's going on on the record. They want to be off record. I, what okay. I can do is give you I, a... I, just real quick, I, all this is recorded. I, what I'm asking for is your badge number, your name, and who your supervising officer is. My badge number is 2530, my name is Loudon, and my supervisor is Sergeant Somerville out of the Oakland and Town. You can give me that information for the other gentleman, too. I know exactly who was at my house. Okay, it's Peggy, and that's spelled N as in Nancy, A as in Apple, J as in George, I as in Yellow. My badge is 1235. Okay. So, again, I, 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 it's all recorded, so I have it. Again, the gentleman that's there is, has no right to be at my house. He did not come to the parenting time drop-off, and I'll be happy to forward, if you want to give me your email address, what the parenting time agreement is. The gentleman is not supposed to be at my house, and there's no reason for him to be there. Uh, the reason he didn't get the child is because he didn't show up, and we left. That is actually according to the court documents. Parenting time drop-off is on Pontiac. I do not know the exact address, but he did not show up there. Okay, where was there? Sorry. Oh, there again. It's the Pontiac Police Department station, and I will give you the address in one section. It is at 100 East Pike, and that's Pontiac, Michigan. I do not know what the zip code is. Okay, not a big deal. Again, there is video surveillance there where you can see the vehicle, you can see the child, and you can see what time we arrived and what time we left. So I'm more than happy because the Freedom of Information Act for it to collect that information or for you to collect that information and see when we were there, as well as when the gentleman that is making you come to my house was there. Okay. And as a peace officer, I would like to know what instigated you to come to my house. What is the reasoning behind this? It's a, basically it's a peace officer when we come as an individual party, not taking either side, just to facilitate peace. Okay, and again, as a peace officer, but are you saying that just because a gentleman who does not have parenting time privileges after a certain point can come to my house with police to intimidate me? Is this an intimidation factor? Because, again, if you look at the parenting time agreement, he has no right to be at my house at this time. And, again, I find this very intimidating, and I find it to be an act uh, to kind of instigate issues. I don't have access to the parenting agreement. But so you just took this gentleman's word without looking at anything and two police officers to my house. Why is there two police officers when I think one would be fine? Always film the police. It's your right to do so. Remember, filming the police is your right. And at the end of the day, you know, if the police shows up at your doorstep, you got to put them in their place. Sometimes you just got to put them in their place and show them who's boss. And that's the simple fact of the matter. These cops are not as smart as you think. Trust and believe what I'm saying. Because I know there are some smart cops, but these ain't one of them. Back to the video. Homeowner, the stepfather's running circles around these sheriffs. Because they don't belong there. Are you worried about a 12-year-old child? Again, this is a front of the court issue. This is not a police matter. I just don't understand this.
Am, am I not understanding what a peace officer is meant to do and why two are ML? Welcome to contact my supervisor and have this conversation because it is no, pretty. Sir, I'm talking to you. This is recorded on my ring device. You can't yeah. answer this. You are a peace officer. You are here to serve the public, and I'm the public. That's why people are not supportive of cops. Because the cops do things that's not within the scope of their authority. They have no right to be there. And instead of them just saying, hey, you know what, you're right, all right, let's go back, this is a civil issue, these cops try to push the issue. And then when a man knows his rights, they don't like that. So this is why it's always important to film law enforcement in the United States. I want to thank this early product news for bringing this video to us. And, um, yeah, uh, that's really what's going on, man. You got to film the cops. You can't trust the cops. And at the end of the day, man, it is your right to film the police. Huh. I mean, I don't know what else to say. I mean, it's your right to do so. Always film the police. Don't let them tell you no. You can't film them. You can always film cops. These cops, they don't know what they're talking about. And that's a lot of cops, honestly, man. They don't, a lot of cops don't know what they're talking about because they got that gun and badge. They got that authority presence. You know what I mean? Like, they can take you to jail anytime they want. Doesn't mean they're right. It just means they can put you in a place you don't want to be. And unfortunately, they can, they can call for backup at any time. And backup comes. Just imagine call men power whenever you want. Just because you got a badge and a gun. All of the links in the description. Bye-bye now.